Abuja nurses protest the new certificate verification guidelines. <laughs> now, wow. So now this is a break in protest breaks out in Abuja as uh, the nurses have decided to, you know, um, take action against the new verification guidelines issued by government before they can travel out of the country, which is uh, <laughs> a serious one. Nurses under the ages of the National Association of Nigerian Nurses, okay, and midwives Abuja chapter on Monday protested against the new verification certification guidelines released by the Nigerian and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. So the nurses expressed displeasure over what they described as an attempt to hinder their freedom to pursue career opportunities, asking the council to address nurses' welfare, sal salary scale, shortage of staff, and other rights. The protest monitored by my correspondent was carried out at the Nigerian uh, NMCN's office in Abuja. Hmm. So the NMCN had on Friday, on February 7, 2024, issued a circular revising the guidelines for requesting verification of certificate for nurses and midwives. The council's circular was released after the punch reported the deactivation of the verification portal on NMCN's website since December 2023. So the circular signed by the registrar of the council, Dr. Farouk Abubakar, read in part, a non-refundable fee per application shall be paid for verification to foreign boards of nursing as specified on the portal. This shall cover the cost of career services to the applicants' institutions of training, uh, place of work, and foreign uh, board. So eligible applicants must have a minimum of two years post-qualification experience from the date of issuance of the permanent practicing license any application with a provisional license shall be rejected outright. The council shall request a letter of good standing from the chief executive officer of the applicant's place of work and the last nursing training institution attended and responses on these shall be addressed directly to the registrar CEO NMCN. Please note that the council shall not accept such letters through the applicant. Can you imagine? So the council also stated that applicants must have active practicing licenses with a minimum of six months on the expiration date and processing of verification applications should take a minimum of six months. So it added that the implication of the guidelines takes effect from March 1, 2024. Implementation of the guidelines takes effect from March 1, 2024. So meanwhile, on Monday, the nurses and midwives were at the NMCN office singing and wielding placards around the premises. Some of the inscriptions on the placards read, Address unemployment among nurses, address quackery, address nurses welfare, and hashtag no to verification rules. Stop frustrating the Nigerian nurses. We are going through a lot today already. Protect nurses, protect healthcare. Okay, NMCN. We say no to the verification rules, NMCA. Don't reduce nurses, among others. Oh, boy. So, so this is exactly what is happening in Abuja. I know that this is coming at the heels of a lot of nurses uh, you know, running abroad for greener pasture since Nigerian system is not favoring them. They are not well paid, and even the salary that they are paying them don't come on time. And they are, they are, in Nigeria is suffering Couple with the fact that the value of the salary they're getting is also not, not enough for them to uh, sustain their families. So it makes it very bad for these uh, nurses to survive under the current economic situation of Nigeria. And I know that because of the Japan syndrome, the health sector is losing qualified personnel almost every day, uh, you know, to the abroad uh, foreign countries. Because people are running out, leaving Nigeria for foreign countries to practice and make a better living. And I remember sometime uh, last month, Tinubu was bragging that if they want to go, anybody not a doctor that want to travel, they can travel, we are going to replace them when they travel. Now, 
they are still traveling and it's not a matter of replacing them now now they want to look for a way to stop them from traveling it's like caging them in nigeria whether the condition of service is good or not cage them here so they now set up rules that will not enable them move freely or get support they need to be able to move out of the country and that's a very bad one so with all the stringent conditions the nurses are telling them it's not about setting up rules to cage nurses in nigeria go and address a shortage of manpower in the sector go and address the welfare of the nurses go and address several other things that are not right with the nurses uh, in nigeria rather than scaging them so that they don't travel out again that is a very bad uh, very bad move so for me as a person this is one of the things nigerian government is doing to key destinies you know nigerian government is a professional when it comes to destroying the destiny of the citizens destiny of professionals destiny of youths and young people okay now what they are doing now in nigeria they are not valued they are not well paid they are not regarded and they want to travel out you are also setting trap to cage them from traveling out is that not destruction of destiny that is it that is absolute destruction of destiny and it is not acceptable and that is why these guys are protesting uh, all of these uh, traps that have been put against them so that they can be free. I thought I said, please, this certificate verification guidelines should start with Tinubu before going down to the nurses and midwives. What is wrong with this country called Nigeria? Exactly. Eh? We have all the politicians, a lot of them with certificate forgery. They've not been able to verify some of them, but they're chasing nurses. Hmm. The registrar is a rubbish man. Okay, how they checked the certificates of all our leaders starting. Okay, have they checked the certificates of all our leaders starting from number one to the last hypocrites? Exactly. The certificate, the, the performance, forgery, cert, forged certificate all over the place. So many government agencies, officials have no certificates. Exactly. Exactly. Certificate forgery is key in Nigeria, I tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I was saying, are you guys not uh, not a professional? Professional does not fear certificate verification now. Please don't disgrace Nigeria. Everything is not protest. No, this is a trap that they have said. They are professionals and they are working. Understand why these uh, guidelines are put in place. They want to cage them from traveling abroad and that's why they are making it too stringent. Okay, so it's not as if they are against the verification. They have been verifying for them, but tightening the news against them is what they're protesting. Let's just understand it clearly. They did not say don't verify, but just set up stringent rules that will take away their freedom. Nigerians should protest all unfavorable and inhuman policies of this government until they are reversed. That policy by NMCN is a deliberate policy to frustrate nurses from traveling outside the country. To pursue their careers it is inhuman to pay nurses peanuts as wages in their in this country yet making it difficult for them to leave the country when they are not slaves exactly they are enemies of progress you can't cage them you can't cage them that's what i was saying is certificate verification still relevant in nigeria the two presidential candidates apc produced since they came into power in 2015 to date where their certificates verified exactly our certificate was not verified in fact they said it should never be a certificate <laughs> that has to get bad mouth the new certificate is still a problem to tomorrow it's still shrouded with secrecy and suspicion and they're using the judiciary to close it out but now they're pursuing small man what a shame what a shame Nigerians, why protest about certificate verification if your certificate is German? You don't understand what they're saying. They didn't say don't verify certificate. What they're saying is stop setting stringent rules that will stop them from traveling abroad. They want to cage them because the health sector kept on losing professionals because of bad conditions of service and bad economic situation of the country. So people are looking for greener pastures abroad. And now it's affecting the health sector in Nigeria. So they're setting up rules and guidelines to cage them so that they don't travel out. And that is bad. So thank you for listening. And let's have your comment on this protest of Nazis in Abuja.